How did a small indie developer create an open world exploration game where players can design and build their own spacecraft, launch them into orbit and explore the depths of space? Today I'll be telling you about the story of Space Flight Simulator. So strap yourself in and enjoy the ride! Space Flight Simulator, commonly known as SFS, was created by a developer called Stefo Mamaroja, who was from Slovenia. Not much is known about Stefo's personal life or background, as he prefers to keep a low profile online. He had a passion for space exploration and wanted to create a realistic space simulator game that would allow players to experience the challenges and excitement of spaceflight. Stefo acknowledges the contribution of several individuals who assisted with the creation and testing of the game. Stefo remains the primary developer and driving force behind the game. Liftoff! We have a liftoff! Suddenly during November 2016, he started working on the game in his spare time. A screenshot was taken from a Unity forum about Stefo asking a question about calculating orbits on the 20th of October 2016. Using his knowledge of programming and physics, he developed a realistic simulation of spaceflight. He focused on creating a game that would be both challenging and educational, with accurate physics and realistic portrayal of challenges of space exploration. But then only one year later on November 30th, 2017, version 1.0 was released for Android devices. It was initially available as a free download on the Google Play Store, and later a paid version with additional features was released. It quickly gained popularity among space enthusiasts and gamers. Shortly after the release of the game, the SFS Discord server was created and has become a central hub for the SFS community, providing players with a space to connect and learn as well as playing a key role in the development of the game. Stefo regularly interacts with members of the server, seeking feedback on new features and updates and sharing his development progress. This direct line of communication between the developer and the community has helped ensure that SFS remains a game that is tailored to the needs and desires of its players. 57 days later, on January 17, 2018, the game was finally released for iOS devices, which bring many new players. Then, 1,504 days later, after many updates, on the 17th of February, 2022, Spaceflight Simulator was finally released onto Steam, and has since been updated with many new features and improvements. SFS now has over 10 million plus downloads and 434,000 reviews on the Google Play Store. With 2,900 positive Steam reviews and a loyal fan base with a Discord server of over 72,000 people, Stefo really shows how, with motivation, creativity, passion, and hard work, you can really create anything you desire. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.